Oh zanies, oh zanies, you guys know I am late to another update, but who cares, honestly. We have a few things to check out zanies, not the least of which is a new robbery. That's right, as you guys all know by now, we can now rob any cash register in ERLC, but we also have water towers and an ice skating ring. I'm gonna waste no time, let's go check all of these out zanies. Pulling up Zanies, beginning with what I believe to be the least exciting one, to be perfectly honest with you. Ice skating ring, nice little touch, but honestly, not my thing. Let's see how this works. Do I get ice skates already? I don't think I do. Is there even ice skates? There we go. All right. So it does it automatically as suspected. Zany is now ice skating. Look at me go. All right. So what if I go this way? Yes. Now I'm skating backwards. Look at me. I'm a regular old Michael Scott and brownie points to you if you know where that's from and you know what the reference is. But all right, Zanies, ice skating rink, chat. Oh, and it's funny, even out of the ice, he's not done skating. The 2023 Zany official merch is here, Zanies. Five very special designs, all done by yours truly. And I'm very, very proud of them, beginning with this white style here. Obviously, it's a play on a very popular brand. And yes, if you're wondering, there is a special Zany logo hidden somewhere in this hoodie so that way you know you're getting the real thing. And as always, Zanies, this will remain at the rock bottom price of only 10 Robux. We have the black hoodie. We have a special coyote color this year. And I'm also introducing this amazing looking yellow hoodie for 2023. Please remember, the easiest way to get this is to go to the avatar shop and type in Zany Official. From there, you'll be able to see all of my creations. And if you're part of the group, all you have to do is click on the store page and it'll be the top collection for this year. Go get your 2023 hoodie today. And the next thing to be on the lookout for is water towers. I imagine just like a small town water tower type thing. And oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. All I got to do is zoom out here. Yeah, there it is. All right, Liberty County water tower. Can I climb the water tower? That's the real question here. Let's see here. And what an awkward place for this water tower. Isn't this like an awkward place? I think it is. Can I jump the fence? I can jump the fence. Can I climb the water tower? I do not think so. No. This is about as far as I get. And there's only one, right? Or is there two? Let me do a little driving around and see if I find another. Driving towards the farmlands, and if I had to say there was gonna be a water tower anywhere, it would be over here somewhere. And yes, this is it over here, Zanius. Oh, so, wait a minute, was this already here? I don't think this was already here. This is definitely new, right? This has gotta be new. Let me go across the way here, and this one looks like it can be climbed. Yes, here we go. Oh my goodness, look at me go. But I will not be able to kind of maneuver my way up there, I don't think. Oh, wait a minute, I just did it, nice. All right, so we got a water tower here. There might be another one somewhere across the way. But honestly, I do not care. These are nice touches, I appreciate it, they're cool. And this is gonna be a great sniping position for me if only there was more traffic over this way. But what I really want to check out is a new robbery, Zanies. Let's go. And without having any actual prior knowledge here, I am just going to assume that I am going to need one of the three tools, either a lockpick, a drill, or an RFID disruptor. We are about to find out which one it is. I believe there's a register in here, isn't there? Yes, there is. Here are the registers. And which one is it going to be? Nope, that's not going to do it. That's not going to do it. And that's not going to do it. Well, wait a minute. How do I break into the cash registers? You know what, Zanies? This happens to me all the time. Let me jump into the update log to figure out how to get into these cash registers. New type of robbery, we've added new cash registers to most of the businesses in Liberty County. Use a gun or melee weapon to destroy the cash registers and then steal the money. There is currently a cooldown for every two registers you rob. Zanies, I am back with my melee weapon. And it's no surprise that all of these businesses have two cash registers in them. And I guess I just got to swing away, right? Here we go. Minus 10, minus 10. And there it is. We are holding the steal. How much am I going to get away with? 905 okay so i mean it's not great but it's not bad i mean if you take two of these at a time then i guess it would make for a nice haul here we go if i get another 800 900 that would be good yeah so there's a thousand right there a little bit more than i was expecting i definitely don't think we're ever going to get to the point where it's more than two thousand dollars at a time so there's a cooldown period 
and this is a very hefty cooldown period so i'm gonna wait my four minutes out and i'm gonna come back and keep stealing these registers made it across town zanies and i wonder if you actually have to wait the full four minutes and yes it looks like you do as i'm swinging away it is not even registering any damage on that machine gonna work my way across the street with only 15 seconds left i am gonna rob the liberty apparel store here we go eight seconds left come on man come on and nope it is not letting me take this one at all what if i try this angle here there we go this angle did it swinging away swinging away swinging away come on zany get it bro get it one more swing should do it there it goes Ooh, and that one's a nice profit of 1100 going across the street now the barbershop should be ready for me Ooh, what if i try this angle again yeah so it's very particular about the angle it seems like you have to be facing the register here we go holding to steal this one as well Ooh, and that was wrong 1100 plus 1100 is definitely over 2000 so not bad you guys the only thing i'm not very happy about is the cooldown period four minutes is a very very long time gonna be getting away with this one as well though gonna work my way back into the city center oh you know just winning casually outside the cafe so i can go in and rob it here we go zanies time is up yet again should be able to break into this one no problem there it is swinging away 10 10 10 there we go got it and one more swing should do it there it goes can i steal Ooh, i cannot steal anything whoa what is happening this is new so is it safe to say that not all of them will have money i don't think i've encountered that so far so far i've been four for four you know let me go across the street check out another business and go from there at the body shop and this is definitely a little risky as you guys can see there's police officers right across the street there is no shortage of them either I'm going to pull out my hammer, though, and I'm going to swing away at this register. Couple more swings. There it is. And nothing. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Is this right? Have you guys encountered this? That's like robbing the jewelry store, but then coming up empty on a jewelry case that you know has jewelry in it. Does that make sense? It makes sense to me. Well, since I didn't get away with any money there, what if I go to yet another business? Already at the jewelry store, there's not even a register here. Well, wait a minute. Does this count as a register? No, it does not count as a register, and I presume not because obviously this is already a robbery itself. Yeah, definitely not counting. Let's go find another Zany, see if it keeps doing this to me. Back at the burger place, only because it was right here, and here we go, swinging away one more time. There we go, now I got some cash. And that's going to be 1100 And that's going to be 800. All right, Zanies, I am not mad at it. Let's make this a fast one because I think there's a cop coming after me. Yep, there it is. And let's just quickly review this robbery. Here's what I like about the robbery. I like the fact that the hammer is the hammer, right? So that means it's not going to wear out over time, I don't think. I was able to break into what, a total of eight boxes and my hammer is still perfectly intact. Unlike the RFID disruptor, the lockpick, and then obviously the drill, which can burn out if you mess up. And whatever, it is what it is, I got arrested, that prompt, whatever, it gets me every single time. As I sit here in jail, let's continue to talk about it. What I don't like about the robbery is the cooldown period. Like, four minutes is a super long time. I really don't mind it because it's going to flow in perfectly with all the other robberies that already exist in ERLC. My real complaint here is, if we calculate this over the course of time, if you think about it, you can rob the ATM, you can break into the house, you can go rob the jewelry store, and for that same four minute cooldown period, you will actually make away with a lot more money. I guess what I'm trying to say here is, if we want to make all the robberies even, we should at least be able to rob one more cash register at a time before it goes into a cooldown period, but ideally, this should be four cash registers at a time before it goes into a cooldown in order to make it fair across all robberies. Mind you that this does not account for difficulty level, which is sort of understandable because there's no real skill involved with having to rob the cash registers. 
I don't know, Zanies. Now that I'm saying all of this out loud, I'm sort of conflicted. What do you guys think about the new robbery? Don't get me wrong, it's a great addition. My gripe is just with the cooldown period. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm not gonna make this one too long, Zanies. I already missed the update. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, long live the Zanies.